Alright, I guess I should talk. I've just been enjoying the funky music too much. Hi everyone, my name is Ben Wright Human, and welcome to a brand new Let's Play series of Roundabout. Now, I know very, very little about this game. Uh, about the only thing I know about it is I kind of recognize the lead actress from um, Penny Arcade's uh, Acquisitions Incorporated, the C Team. I believe she's one of the players. Um, blanking on her name, it's been a while since I watched that. But yeah, I looked it up, I remember when I first came across this and confirmed, yeah, that's her. It's kind of cool. But uh, yeah, this game looks wild. The music is funky. I have no idea what to expect. It's gonna be a good time. I am also very tired because I have been either in a car or a plane for the last nine hours. Uh, I just forced some Little Caesars pizza into my system. I have poured myself a drink. I'm ready to do some live streaming. And, and I'm making myself tired just saying it. Let's get roundabout started. Uh, enough vamping. Enough listening to this funky, funky beat. I'm loving this beat. By the way, the only reason I had this game, it was free on the PlayStation Store a little while back. And ever since I grabbed it, I just thought, this game looks silly and I need to play it sometime when I'm feeling silly. And hopefully that pays off. Let's find out. Um, I'm not gonna turn any of these on now, but... Wait, what is this game? Permadeath? Sudden Death Limo? Arty Mode? Happy Pede... Round to Butt Mode? Round to Butt Mode? Round to Butt Mode. Round to Butt Mode. I don't know, let's find out. Ah, the city of Roundabout. The big twist. The city that always spins. If you can drive through here, you can drive through anywhere. Now, you might notice that things are a little peculiar around here. Well, that's because this is Roundabout. Everyone does things different around here. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Hi there, uh, Geo Rigio Manus. Meet Giorgio Manus, the world's first revolving limousine driver. Great. Well, I'll be the instructor for your limousine operator's test, so just keep things straight and quick, and this will be over ASAP. If only our pal here could see inside Giorgio's head. See, there's only one way this chauffeur drives. And it's with a twist. Giorgio never stopped revolving. As a kid, Giorgio learned to move with the spin instead of fighting it. People, small obstacles. Nothing could stop Giorgio from twisting and turning. Well, except for buildings, lampposts, you know, things taller than a limousine. But, but against everything else, unstoppable. Stop here at the DMV gate? Well, I guess you passed, barely. Here's your driving report. You'll get one of these after every ride. Enjoy the thrilling world that is the luxury transportation industry, I guess. With a limo license, experience a true revolution in transportation, but at what cost? Hey kid, the name's Mickey. Mickey the Mechanic. I've never seen anyone drive like you just did at the DMV. Can you show me some more? I need a ride to my shop down the block. Yeah. 
this spinning thing is even better from the inside. I got stuck there. This is hard. This, this is the future of transportation. I really want to like drift around an entire like this. Oh yeah, pretty good. Wow, kid. Have you ever thought of going pro? Look, if you ever want to take on the city, just come back to me. Hell, I'll even help you out with parts. You and me, kid, we could go all the way. Okay, okay, you just met me, it's a little weird. But kid, seriously, think about it. I'll be right here at the garage. <laughs> children, children should not be in my car. Hi, driver. I'm sorry, my car is stuck at the stupid mechanics and my kid is late for school. Can you give her a ride there? Thanks. Communicating silently was Giorgio's bread and butter. With just a quick look at the stare on that adorable munchkin, Giorgio knew they needed to make a detour. He's in the chair. Let's go pick him up. Anyone saying I'm driving like an idiot? This is hard. Yay! <laughs> Last, Yay! Things must come to an end. Giorgio needed to get these pint-sized panels to school. What? Oh, that's helpful. <laughs> what is this game? I assumed it'd be like a visual novel. This game is amazing. It's so hard. Let's take the bike back to school. Ah, I almost made it. For anyone mad at me for driving like an idiot, this is very hard. <laughs> Did I make it? Made the checkpoint. <laughs> How'd I do? Didn't explode in a fiery wreck. I get the feeling I'm never going to get that one. I'm heading to the school's baseball field. I know this guy. He oh, was the instructor. You. Yeah, so I teach both driving and baseball. You want to make a big deal about it? Those kids aren't going to base those balls themselves. Let's go, Giorgio. Yeah, I know. The school spends all this money on learning and 
buildings. They can't even put a baseball stadium on campus. Priorities, am I right? than I thought. I don't know if what they're doing even counts as baseball. Okay, kids, listen up. Hey, listen up. I don't know what you're doing here, but in this town, we play baseball. You see this chauffeur here? Even Giorgio can play better baseball than you. Show him. Giorgio had never used a limousine as a baseball bat before, but there's a first time for everything. Why is it not... I don't understand what I'm supposed to be doing. Besides destroying this baseball field. First base! Second! Bring it home! Now I get Home it. run! Alright kids, see? That's how you do it. Now get out there and give me ten laps. Come on, move, move, move! Alright, why not? Giorgio, the school's demanding that I teach soccer now. Apparently this isn't America anymore. <laughs> you seem like someone who knows what soccer is. Can you show these kids how to bounce a soccer ball or whatever it is that you do in your sport? Oh, wait, what? Oh, that's... This is not what I expect to be doing with my night. <laughs> 